Hey Job Seekers, this is Rebecca from ISGF and this is another episode of the Job Seekers Secret Sauce. In today's episode, I wanted to take a minute to talk about a common mistake many job seekers make, especially now more than ever. That mistake is failing to do research on the company you're applying to or about to interview with. What does that mean, you ask? Well, let me explain. We frequently see candidates get frustrated that they were declined for an opportunity, only to discover from the hiring manager that they felt the candidate was ill-prepared and lacked any knowledge of their organization whatsoever. Now we completely understand that finding a job is extremely time-consuming and frustrating. Who has time to do all of this research? Well, the reality is that the time you spend doing your research now will save you a ton of time in the future, not to mention it may be that single component that seals a deal and gets you the job that you want. So some of you may be thinking, what type of research should I be doing? The answer is not so simple, unfortunately, but here's a few examples to get you started. Basic research on a company should include reviewing their Glassdoor reviews to see how other employees like it there, reviewing the posted salary ranges from similar roles that you're seeking, checking to see if anyone has posted any benefits information. Additionally, a basic Google search on the company can oftentimes lead you to press releases or news articles referencing the organization. If the company is publicly traded, you'll definitely want to review their financial statements to determine the financial stability or health of the organization. If you're feeling awfully sneaky, how about checking their LinkedIn page and reviewing some of the employees currently at the organization in a similar role to what you're applying to. If you see many of them recently started, this may be an indication that there is either substantial growth at the company and they are ramping up, or there's significant turnover. And of course, if you do nothing else, always, and I mean always, review the company's website. It's important you have thorough understanding of what the company does, how they generate revenue, how they're structured, and where they're heading in the future. Nothing closes the door faster than asking a future employer what the company does, and yes, that actually happens more than you'd think. When you're in the interview, you'll earn bonus points for referencing some of the good information you've found online. For instance, it might sound something like, I recently read an article on Forbes.com indicating that the company was experiencing substantial growth. How does that increase in workload affect your department? Or, I noticed on your website that the organization is broken down into five primary divisions. Can you explain how? So I think you got the point. It's a subtle way of saying you did your homework. Let's not forget that you, of course, will always find negative reviews on any company. While it's important to take a mental note of those concerns, it's even more important to screen for them in your interview. You're essentially looking for evidence to either prove or disprove the negative feedback. So my friends, today's Job Seekers secret sauce is to do your research. Never apply for a job or go to an interview without first having done some basic research on the organization. Failing to do so can not only cost you the opportunity, but also cost you a lot of time and frustration. I hope you found this information helpful. Please remember to click the like button below, subscribe to our channel, or share your comments. If you'd like to do your research on us, please visit us at isgf.com. I'm Rebecca from ISGF, wishing you a great day, and we look forward to seeing you back here again soon.